There is a brand new study about the water drinking habits of low income Latino families in the D.C. region. It found that many families did not trust their tap water and opted to consume sugary drinks instead. Well, researchers learned might just providing one simple thing to those study participants, they were able to reverse that trend. News 4's Mauricio Casillas explains. Researchers at George Washington University studied how much water 92 low-income families in our region drank. They found that most of them were turned off by the taste of tap water and opted instead to drink bottled water, or if that was too expensive, they'd get cheaper sugary drinks. So researchers decided to give them one of these. A simple water filter, and researchers were surprised by the impact these had in just three months. From the beginning, nobody drank tap water. It was basically zero consumption on average. Dr. Urioan Colon Ramos is the lead researcher in the study. She and her team surveyed families in Langley Park, Gaithersburg, and DC. They were predominantly Hispanic families. Something that's super low cost gave them more um, confidence in the tap water to be able to drink it. Families were separated into two groups. Both groups received water filters, but one group specifically was educated on the health risks of consuming sugary drinks. For the group that only received a filter, researchers found that on average, parents reduced their consumption of sugary drinks by 8 ounces per day and increased their consumption of water by 5.6 ounces. For children, their consumption of sugary drinks decreased by 1.6 ounces and their consumption of water increased by 2.2 ounces per day. What was surprising to us was that both groups significantly decreased the sugary drink consumption. Dr. Colon Ramos says she hopes these findings can be used to shape future public health policies by increasing access to clean water for low-income families. It wasn't as much a problem of education, but more about motivation and supporting them to make that decision. Mauricio Casillas, News 4. The researchers are hopeful the children involved in the study will continue their healthier habits because a heavy consumption of sugary drinks could lead to health issues when they get older.